Hello, Facebook Live. Marcus here. What's happening, everybody? It is Wednesday, a rainy Wednesday afternoon. Um, warm, but rainy. And uh, we're at the restaurant um, doing a couple of odds and ends things. Uh, doing a little wine tasting here in a little while. A wine rep's coming in. It's always one of our favorite times. We can find, discover new wines, taste some wines we're familiar with already. Uh, so it is, like I said, Wednesday afternoon, about 3.15 right now. Thanks for everybody tuning in. Hello, Greg. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Ralph. Hello, everybody else tuning in. So I wanted to talk about an item that is back in stock at the restaurant. Um, back in stock is our sable fish. So sable fish, uh, also called black cod uh, from Alaska, is back in stock. We had a temporary shortage on this. Um, these are about six ounce fillets. Uh, they come frozen, so does our salmon. Our salmon comes like this, our mahi-mahi, our halibut, and our albacore tuna all come packaged like this. Uh, this is for our grocery list. This is, uh, this is called sable fish, or also known as black cod, or also known as butterfish. Um, butterfish was nicknamed in the 90s, butterfish from uh, Ming Tsai, the chef, uh, had called it butterfish. This fish is amazing. It's also when it's smoked, um, sable fish, black cod can also be smoked, um, very, very good like that, just like smoked salmon. Uh, however, this fish here is amazing because it's hard to overcook. You can broil it, you can bake it. Um, it is an amazing fish. And the way that it flakes, it sort of leaves like this, like it's sort of like this buttery, um, buttery texture. Well, that's just called butterfish. So this is back in stock. I don't know the price offhand. Jamie, do you know the price offhand on the sable fish? I apologize, yeah. I don't know the price. It's around 22, 22, 22 a pound. Okay, so again, they're pouched, they're frozen, they're cryovacked, um, they're wild caught from Alaska. So is our halibut, it's wild caught from Alaska. Halibut is one of those things that can be a very good fish or a not so good fish. Most restaurants will serve Atlantic halibut. Atlantic halibut, the stocks are not strong enough to make it a sustainable catch. That means they're catching more than they can reproduce in the wild. And at some point, it will not be around. Alaskan or West Coast halibut is totally the opposite. It's a very monitored species. Quotas are met, uh, quotas are put out there, quotas are met. It's a very regulated catch and they are doing it the right way. So there's two types of halibut, West Coast, East Coast. Avoid Atlantic halibut. Avoid it, avoid it, because at some point we're all gonna avoid it by, by choice because we're decimating the population. But the West Coast halibut is totally different. So West Coast halibut costs more money than East Coast halibut. Uh, we have that frozen as well, around the same price as the black cod. Um, we also have great quality shrimp um, from, um, how's it going? Sable Good. Fish is $22.99 a pound. $22.99 pound. $22 a pound for sable fish. Yes. Twenty-two ninety-nine a pound. Excellent. So I just came on for a quick Facebook Live to tell you this is back in stock along with a bunch of other groceries. Go to our webpage, aromatimebistro.com. The pizzas are back again. We're selling tons of these pizzas from, from Naples. Napolitan style pizza, true Napolitan uh, pizza, not Napolitan style. It is the real deal Napolitan pizza from Naples, frozen, shipped over. Ten ninety-nine a pound uh, to you. It's frozen. You thaw it, you bake it. You have amazing wood-fired, hand-stretched by a master pizza in Naples with the good cheese the good tomatoes and the good flour uh, made in Italy. And in 15 minutes, you'll have that coming out of your oven. It's amazing, we're selling a ton of that. We have the broccoli rabe and we have the margarita. Um, a few more other new items in stock on our list. Uh, stay tuned, we'll update that list here in the next day or so online, and we'll include a link in our email. Our trip to the Finger Lakes is doing fantastic. We're waiting for one or two more people to get prices back to us, then we can put a price tag on it. We kind of know what we need to charge right now, uh, but we're just waiting to actually um, we're actually waiting to, uh, to just to finalize that price. Karen, yes, Karen, there is a gluten-free pizza from, um, from the one from Naples. Uh, there is a gluten-free option. It's a couple dollars more. It is a gluten-free option. What's that? The gluten-free gluten gluten one, Karen, is $14.99. It is gluten-free, made in Naples. We'll get, uh, it. We'll, get it this week. we'll have it in stock maybe as early as tomorrow or definitely Saturday. Uh, so the trip to the Finger Lakes. It's doing great. Um, we're gonna officially put that out there. Uh, we kind of know the price. We're just not publicizing it yet. We just maybe get one or two more prices back. Uh, we want to go all out and go all over, uh, go above and beyond in that trip. So that is going to be super, super exciting. So stay tuned for all that information uh, to be published. 
And that's it, folks. Uh, enjoy your day. We're back tomorrow with 9.99 burgers for takeout and um, fresh burrata just landed today at the restaurant. Came in yesterday from Italy, and it just came in today. Um, are you going to do a beer trip to the Finger Lakes too, Ralph? That is a fantastic idea—a beer trip to the Finger Lakes, uh, or a beer trip anywhere, right? Whether it's Finger Lakes or whatever. But Finger Lakes is great because. Uh, we have a great uh, hotel up there now that um, is really bending over backwards for us and accommodating us and, and really wants our business. Uh, that is the Harbor, Harbor View or Harbor House or Harbor Hotel, which is on the water on Lake Seneca on the southern part in Watson's Glen. They are amazing people. It's a four diamond uh, rated property from AAA. So really exciting. The rooms are amazing. The amenities are amazing. Uh, the staff is awesome. So yeah, so um, Ralph, that is a great idea. Uh, that's something we can def definitely work on uh, on a beer, beer tour up there as well. Our first wine tour is the 22nd to the 24th of January. The snow date is gonna be the week after. Uh, for that. So if you're booking, you're automatically saying that you are available for the following weekend in case there's a snow date. Uh, we're going to be doing many more trips to the Finger Lakes based, based upon its popularity. Uh, if you want us to keep going up there and you're going to join us, we will keep taking you and we'll keep with 130 wineries alone in the Alliance up there in the, in the Finger Lakes Wine Alliance. There are a insane amount of wineries, phenomenal wineries that we can visit and we can do trip after trip after trip and still not hit them all. So that's amazing. We only do two to two to four wineries a day depending upon how long the day is and if you finish off at a winery with dinner uh, because we do great in-depth tours and we do great tastings. So that's the story of that. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it and enjoy your day and we'll be back open tomorrow.